Mindful Measure presents 10 Psychological Things That Make You Less Attractive Many people think that attraction is a simple thing. You find someone attractive and they find you attractive, and then that's it. However, there are dozens of factors that affect attraction, from small physical factors to larger behavioral factors. So if you're having a hard time getting a second date, chances are there are things that you're doing, whether you're aware of it or not, that is turning off your date to making you appear less attractive. By understanding these behaviors and vibes that might turn someone off, you can improve your attraction and impress your dates. Here are 10 psychological things that make you less attractive. Number one, sleep deprivation. According to a study that was done by Swedish researchers, people who are sleep deprived are found to be less attractive. The study had 122 people look at photos of 25 sleep deprived individuals and then evaluate how attractive they found them and how likely they were to socialize with them. The participants deemed that the sleep deprived individuals were less attractive and thus they were less likely to socialize with them. Being sleep deprived affects your physical appearance by making you look tired, having eye bags, and just overall looking less healthy. So make sure to get your beauty rest each night if you want to be perceived as more attractive. Number two, too focused on appearance. Being well groomed and having a good personal care regimen is important for your overall appearance. However, studies have shown that people actually find those who are too consumed with their appearance to be less attractive. Placing too much emphasis on your looks can make you seem superficial instead of having substance. It's important to find a middle ground between looking like a total scrub or being too focused on your looks that you come off as superficial. Go without heavy makeup from time to time, take care of your hair or your beard, but don't overdo it. And wear nice, casual clothes, but don't try to flaunt designer brands frequently. Number three, being distant. Being self-reliant is a great characteristic to have. However, acting like you don't need anybody for any reason ever can make you less attractive and can actually make you completely forgettable. It's important not to seem too distant because people will eventually get bored of the act. Distance does make the heart grow fonder, but there is such a thing as too much distance. A study was done in 1992 by two psychologists, Moreland and Beach. This study tested the attractiveness of someone based on how distant they are. The study had four women pretending to be students in a large psychology class, and at the end of the semester, the real students had to rate how attractive they found each woman. The results showed that the more classes the woman attended, the more attractive they were. The opposite happened for the women who barely showed up to class, they were seen as less attractive, and some of the real students actually completely forgot about them. Number 4. Clingy Behavior I'm sure everyone has heard that you should play hard to get when you're dating or getting to know someone romantically. But is this actually something you should do? Why can't you just be straightforward and let your intentions be known right off the bat? Well, studies have shown that playing hard to get and being mysterious is more appealing at the start of a new relationship. While the mystery is great at the start of a relationship, it can get old after a while, so don't overdo it. There's a theory called the gain-loss theory that was established in 1965 by psychologists Darwin Lindernan Elliot Aronson. This theory states that people are more attracted to an individual who didn't like them back at first but eventually won them over. Most people tend to want a challenge and don't want something that's too easy. So don't come off too clingy if you want to appear more attractive to others. Number five, flirting with everyone. Some people consider themselves natural flirts while playful flirting isn't inherently bad, being flirty with other people can make you less attractive to the one person you actually want. When you're flirty or overly friendly with a lot of people, the person you actually care about may not realize you like them because you act the same with everyone else. In order to be more attractive to others, especially the person you really like, you have to be more selective. Try to put most of your attention into the one person you care about rather than dividing your attention between others. Number six, not being humble. Confidence is something that can make someone significantly more attractive. A person doesn't have to be the most physically appealing in the room to be the most attractive. Sometimes all it takes is confident body language and a great sense of humor to make others want you. However, there is a fine line between confidence and just being cocky and overconfident. The perfect level of confidence to have is somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. Being confident is great, but it's important to have humility and vulnerability as well. Someone who's overly confident 24 seven 
will be perceived as unrelatable and arrogant. People are more likely to be attracted to an individual who can admit to their flaws and faults while still being self-assured. Number seven, lack of purpose. Laziness and a lack of purpose and motivation is seen as an unattractive trait. Researchers believe the psychological reason behind why we find lazy people less attractive is because thousands of years ago, lazy people didn't survive. The people who survived predators and other challenges thousands of years ago were those who were constantly on the move. So our attraction to ambition and purpose is rooted in our history. Nowadays, we don't necessarily need to survive against predators. However, we still find laziness an unattractive trait. When someone is lazy, they are less likely to take care of themselves. Whether through diet, exercise, skin care, and improving themselves and their lives, people don't want to be with someone who doesn't have anything going for themselves. To make yourself more attractive to others, take care of yourself and have self-introspection. Find hobbies and interests and always try to better yourself. No one expects you to be perfect and have everything together all the time. However, people will be significantly more attracted to you if you're motivated and have a sense of purpose. Number eight, revealing too much too soon. When it comes to dating, people like a challenge. People don't want something that seems too easy to get. Although this can be frustrating to accept because if you like someone, you might just wanna lay it all out on the table and be open and honest with them. Sometimes that's not the best route to go. Studies have shown that people like a sense of mystery and challenge when it comes to dating. If you reveal too much too soon and let someone know how much you like them and want to be with them, they might be flattered, but they will feel like they didn't win you over. In 2011, researchers had a group of females viewing Facebook profiles of men. They were split into two groups. One group of women was told that the men liked their profiles and the other group was told that they didn't know if the men liked their profiles. The women in the second group were most attracted to the men who didn't reveal their feelings. These results showed that the more mysterious the men came off to the women, the more the women thought about them and were intrigued by them. Number nine, table etiquette. A large survey has shown that both women and men would turn down a second date with someone who didn't have good table manners. The survey done by Match.com relationship expert showed that 86% of women and 74% of men would turn down the second date over poor table etiquette. Some examples of bad table manners include chewing with your mouth open, being messy, not having a napkin in your lap, and using your phone while at the table. It's important to show that you're a mature adult with proper manners by chewing properly and eating without making a total mess. It's also important to show your date that you're giving them your full attention by not using your phone and responding to a bunch of texts while you're sitting at the table with them. There's nothing worse on a first date than seeming like you're uninterested and bored by constantly picking up your phone. Number 10, flaunting wealth. Similar to being too overly confident and not having enough humility, flaunting your wealth can be an immediate turnoff for most people. Men especially seem to think that in order to attract a woman, they need to talk about their brand new BMW or how much they make at work. Bragging about money to your date comes off as a desperate attempt to try to impress them, while it does the complete opposite. You can be successful and not flaunt your wealth. When you're dating someone and have spent more time together, you can start to open up about your financial situation if you would like, but don't flaunt your wealth to try to get someone to like you because then you might not get a second date. Attraction isn't all about what you look like, it's much more than that. You can be the most physically appealing person in a crowd, but if you're overly confident, too flirty, sleep deprived, or flaunt your wealth, people won't want to get to know you. Instead, have humility, self-confidence, good manners, and motivation, and people will flock to you. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel and comment which psychological thing that makes you unattractive was the most surprising to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.